you want to go if for a walk? Seen today is any indication, we can expect great things. <laughs> I Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. Apologies if this is a little bit windy. I'm a bit concerned that it could be, but I just wanted to start the vlog and say welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kirsty. I am at 26. I live in Adelaide with my beautiful little family, which is my husband Hayden, my 19 month old daughter Harper, and our 11 day old daughter Marley, as well as our beautiful healthy boy Ziggy, who I'm out walking at the moment. I'm 11 days postpartum. I am feeling incredible. Marley had a six hour sleep last night, so. I managed to get about five hours, so I think five hours is the longest I have slept in one window in months. I was so uncomfortable in pregnancy. So we're just out here walking. I have a stain on my t-shirt, but it's fine. And yeah, I just wanted to start the vlog, say hello, and thank everyone for their patience the last few weeks. Obviously, it's been a wild ride. <laughs> We are adapting to having two children. Hayden is on paternity leave. Not paternity leave, obviously means it's around a lot, which is amazing for me, but not for my content because he's not a camera guy, which is so fine. That just means I film a lot less because he's like in the house with me. You know what I mean? So less content, but he'll be back at work in a couple of weeks and things will, I'll figure out my new routine. I'll try and figure out just my new little life. So, and also, with my granny being over from Scotland at the moment, she's here for six weeks, so I'm trying to enjoy my time with her as well. I think this is a bit windy, so I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> minutes since I've done any garden updates because we've been a little bit busy but tomatoes honestly until these last couple of really hot days have been absolutely thriving we've been having tomatoes every week you can see there's like lots of green ones but now I'm gonna have to chop up chop off some of these like brown bits I don't know how well you can see but this garden bed and this garden bed we are going to empty now. The capsicums have not given us anything. This broccoli hasn't given us anything and this lettuce we just didn't eat it in time and now it's dead. These broccolis also just have never really gotten anywhere so I don't know what we're going to do with them yet. All of the spring onion and the cucumber is done now for the season. Like they're done. So we'll take out those spring onions that are back there. We will keep the tomatoes going. I'm going to give it a bit of a chop in a second. And then we're going to have to see what we're going to replant for autumn. So if anyone's got any suggestions, we will be doing two fresh beds of food. So I think we're going to do more lettuce because that really grew nicely. I'd love to maybe do some sweet corn or I don't know. We need to look into it. But we got these um, sticks to hold them up and they're so much better now. Something has clearly been eating these tomatoes, so that's not ideal. But yeah, overall the tomatoes have been thriving. Nothing else is currently giving us anything. But that's okay, because it's been really, really hot and we're coming to the end of summer. So yeah, end of the season. So it'll be new harvest time now. up Harper from childcare. We have had a pretty chill day. I obviously made some protein lactation cookies which was so much fun and I'm gonna show you guys all the things I said I was gonna do in last week's vlog because I've just edited last week's vlog 
and realized that like three times I was like, oh, I want to do this. I want to show you this. I want to show you this. And I didn't do any of it. So apologies to that vlog. I literally like named a bunch of things that I wanted to share with you and didn't do any of it. So the first thing is <laughs> my caddy. So I got this from Kmart for like $16. And honestly, it has been a game changer. We with Harper had like a little bag thing that I sort of carried around with me, but it just was like not just wasn't it now this one is like the smaller one from kmart and honestly it fits plenty in it i wouldn't need anything any bigger so i thought i would just show you what i put in it now apologies if you can hear noises from a newborn because marley is just here and she's making i think she's about almost ready for a feed because she's like getting a little restless so yeah in this pocket i literally just have nappies and our thermometer i thought marley had a temperature at one point so i got the thermometer out of the medicine cabinet and i've just kept it in there so now it's there whenever we need to check but this is literally just nappies if you've been following my channel for a while yes i do intend on doing cloth nappies but newborns go through a lot of nappies so until she's a little bit bigger and isn't wetting as many nappies we are doing disposables for now and then we'll move on to cloth probably around the eight week mark i would assume Possibly earlier if I'm feeling up for it and if I feel confident enough that I can keep up with the washing of two of them like earlier. But currently we're just sticking with disposables for the time being as we transition into a family with two children. Then this side, honestly, it gets like messy, but it's got everything in it. So I always have a spare onesie for Marley. I just have this little one from Big W at the moment. It's really, really hot here in Adelaide. So she's pretty much just been in these like singlet onesies. And then at night time, we put her in a long sleeved one. Um, Cause yeah, it's been like 35 degrees most days. So she literally is just in little singlet onesies all the time. Cause I don't want her to get too hot. Always have a spew rag. These are just the Terry towels from like Big W. You can probably get them everywhere that like Target came out anywhere. Um, they're just the, yeah, like classic big terry towels we use these for harper and they were great we love them these are mainly just in case she vomits or in case we have a poo explosion or i don't know i'm leaking milk we just have one with us at all time and i also do have her like long sleeved one as well because i carry this ev into every room with me this thing comes to bed so i just have this ready both for tonight basically these have lasted like a few nights because she's tiny she's like not getting too hot she's not sweating she's not getting anything on it so they stay clean and i forgot how nice it is like all of her clothes so i've got like a bunch of like five zero four zero three zero stuff that was all harper's and some two zero stuff as well it's all in like pristine condition still because until they start solids and like get on the move everything stays if you don't have a super spewy baby or don't have heaps and heaps of blowouts like everything just stays fine so all of these, like this was from Harper and it's in perfect condition. I then have a little bow just because I would like to put a bow on her at some point and I've just had that in there and haven't got it out. I then have another spear rag. I have nipple balm. This is just the Medela lanolin. We got it whilst I was in the hospital because I left my actual nipple butter like here. And then Hayden couldn't find it when I was in hospital. So I had to buy one from like the hospital's um, like gift shop and it was $25. And I was a bit pissed off because it's not like I was kind of grumpy about that because it wasn't really the one that I wanted. Like there's um, more natural, nice brands that I would have got, but I needed it right then and there because my nipples were so sore. So I've got that. And then I have a little flannel. I actually haven't had to use this. I don't know why it's in here, but I thought at the time that it was a good idea. So that's there too. I guess if she needs like cleaning up for any reason as well. I've got that face washer whatever you guys call it and then I have two different lots of wipes because I know that if these run out and I don't have spares ready to go I'll be really angry at myself so I go between tushies and water wipes mum bought a few packets of water wipes for us and we got a heap of tushies at our baby shower because that was what we asked for instead of presents because we already have everything we needed for a daughter we literally said like either give us money or wipes or nothing we don't want presents because we have everything we need we don't need more stuff so we got lots of these which is amazing because these are my favorites at, well they're both my favorites to be fair whichever ones are on special is what i buy so yeah that's my caddy it works great and i love it like it's not crazy but it's just good to just have in every room for whenever i need it now i also last week's in last week's vlog said i want to show you some stuff that i was gifted now these are from a small business called 
Archie Boy the label and it is a local Adelaide girl who hand makes all of these. So she sent me this with no obligation to say anything or post anything. She just said that she enjoys watching my videos and that she wanted to send me something which was just the sweetest thing ever and I cried when it arrived. <laughs> but she made this which we're going to put in the nursery which is just so cute or even maybe on the pram possibly. I just think it's so cute and it's like so soft and pretty and Oh, I just, I really, really love this. So she made that. And then we got a couple of bibs. And these are the two patterns. Like, oh my gosh, how cute. These will be amazing, especially when she starts teething and they're dribbly as. And it's so much nicer to have cute bibs. I probably won't use these when she's eating because they'll get ruined. But these will be perfect for a dribbly girl when she starts to teethe. And then also, I haven't used these yet because we've been using the terry towels. But they are some little burp cloths. So I can put them over and burp her. And she can spew on these instead. And like, I just love the patterns. You can tell like they've all just been like made really well. Her stitching is just really nice. So cute. So thank you, Sarah, for sending those to me. They are absolutely beautiful. I love them. And I feel very grateful that she wanted to send them to me. So if you are looking for some gifts for friends who are having a baby or you need something for your own baby that looks really cute, I highly recommend checking out Archie Boy the label. I'll link the Instagram down below for you. If you want to have a look, feel free to let Sarah know I sent you if you decide to purchase anything. They're just so cute. I just think the patterns are so beautiful. And then I also am going to show you guys later my protein oats recipe because I got so many DMs in the end asking for my protein oats recipe. And honestly, it's kind of basic and boring, but um, people obviously wanted it. And I know I shared it back in the day, back like a year ago, I guess, when I was doing my dial-in. So if anyone's been here for over a year, I definitely would have shared it back then when I was counting calories and um, trying to be really successful with my dialing this time last year. But yeah, I guess it's been a long time since I've shared the protein oats. And because it's now summer, I'm absolutely loving them as something to have for breakfast in the morning. So I'm gonna stop talking now because I've been rambling forever and this vlog, I actually wanna do stuff in this vlog and it not just be me talking and sitting here, chatting your ear off the entire time. So, Okay, it is Wednesday and apologies, it's a little bit dark. I've just put my car like shade on because I'm going to get my hair done. I have not had my hair dyed since, I don't even know, half it must have been like maybe three months old or something. Like I reckon it's been a year and a half or so. And we have a wedding this weekend and I just had a baby and we decided like Hayden and I that I deserve to treat myself because I really don't very often. I get my nails done and that's about it. I really don't have, I don't know, I just don't, I put everyone else before myself in my family. Like I worry about Hayden, I worry about the girls. Very rare that I'm like, no, I wanna do something for me. So that's what I'm doing today. So Marley is with me because obviously she feeds on demand and she feeds a lot. So she could realistically feed the whole time we're there. But I'm hoping she sleeps for a lot of it, fingers crossed. I just fed her before we came, so hopefully. But my appointment is in like four minutes, so I'm going to head in. I'm very excited, so I'll see you when my hair is fresh. I can't wait for it. My hair is so friggin' Fresh. Oh, it's too bright out here. I wanted to try and get footage of it, like, not in my car so you could see better. But it's too dark in my car, too bright outside, so I'll show you later. Do you want to know what I really forgot about breastfeeding? I'm just making my morning coffee, having my morning thoughts, you know. And I am so hungry. Far out. It's never ending. I think that I have been hungry since the second I pushed Marley out and I have not been full since that moment. And honestly, it's ridiculous. No matter how much I eat, and I don't want to just like eat an absurd amount and gain 30 kilos, but I just literally can't remember what it feels like to be full anymore. I've been trying really hard to eat really good, nutritious, tasty, healthy foods. 
by having my greens every day. I'm trying really hard to prioritize myself, let's say that. Considering I'm now a mum of two and life gets really hectic really fast once that happens because there's just a whole extra human to watch out for and keep alive. Hayden is just dropping half at childcare right now and Marley is sleeping so I have some time to myself. But even like not having time, it's not having time to myself that's the problem because I actually quite love being around my family and my kids. But I, even if I'm around everyone, I need to prioritize my health I'm feeling. So I'm trying really hard to do that. So I'm having my greens every day. These ones are the Gorgeous Greens by Naked Harvest. I actually really like the flavor, which I've never enjoyed a flavor of greens before. I don't think any greens I've had have ever been like a flavor, if that makes sense. So I'm really loving these, having them every single day without fail. I've managed to have them every single day since I brought Molly home. So that's pretty good. She is two weeks old. I think we came home when she was four days old. So like eight days, not bad. I've been adding in collagen into my coffee every morning as well. I still haven't had protein oats for the last few days. So I'm gonna try and do it this afternoon so that I can have them tomorrow and show you guys my recipe. I swear it is in the works, I promise. I do wanna show you guys. Yeah, that's where I'm at currently. Marley has not been a very bad sleeper, which is good. We are up for quite a while at the moment when we're up. She'll feed and then burp and then she'll be asleep. So I'll put her back down and then she'll wake again like 10 minutes later and want more milk. So that's been a little bit tricky just because then I end up, I'm like, oh, amazing. We were only up for 20 minutes. And then that happens three more times and I end up being up for an hour. But overall, she's awesome. So I'm gonna make some poached eggs. I obviously haven't, it's Friday today. I haven't updated you guys in a couple days, I don't think, because honestly it's been, like Harper's been home and it's been really hot. So we haven't really done anything overly exciting because we haven't been able to get out of the house. So I'm just making myself some poached eggs on toast because I can have runny eggs again because I'm not pregnant. I have been being really, really productive with my time at home though. Like the house gets tidied all the time. Like the time just like way more on top of things. And oh, I need to give you better lighting for my hair. Let's open the window. Let's get this. Maybe Hayden's home now. Okay, we're in a bit of chaos. It is Saturday, so I haven't filmed anything in a couple of days, but that's the norm at the moment, I guess, because we've just been living and surviving this little world. Oh look, I've got slubber on me. But. Oh, and a crying newborn. So Hayden is away today helping set up for the wedding tomorrow. So I've got the two girls. So I'm getting out of the house. We are going to a friend's so that Harper can play with her toddler and she's got a newborn as well. So we'll just be like feeding the newborns whilst the toddlers go crazy. She needs a feed. So I'm gonna go. But I promise I'll try and do some more updating later. Okay, I have a lot to achieve and not a whole lot of time to achieve it because Harper has just gone down for a nap, which means I am officially on a time limit. I have maybe an hour and a half to get everything I want to get done, done. That includes tidying the house a little bit more because it's gotten a little bit messy in the last day or so and I've been loving, taking pride in keeping the house tidy like I've really been enjoying just like a very clean space it's been really good for me mentally since having Marley just to have that sort of control I guess and because at the end of pregnancy I just really couldn't I just really struggled with keeping on top of those sorts of things so I've been yeah loving that I need to eat I need to shower and like do a full exfoliate shave my legs that kind of shower and a tan I've just fed Marley but I will have to be careful because obviously I don't want to tan and have to feed her with the tan on. So I also have to wash the tan off after only like an hour or two and just have like quite a natural tan. Like I'm not going to go too dark. What else do I need to do? I want to do a face mask before I jump in the shower. I might do that right now actually. So yeah, Harper's asleep. Marley has just been fed. She's just in the little bouncer. So I'll get out my face mask. I just use, I think I've told you guys before, I have two from GoTo that I got for Christmas. Hot Spring Clay, I don't really want that one. I want the nourishing, oh, maybe I do want to do clay for a complete clean out. That sounds like a good idea before a wedding. So, here's my little brush, there it is. So 
upset Marley's getting unhappy already. <laughs> so that's awesome. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have something to eat. I have microwaving at the moment is a meal from you foods which i've been loving again you foods if you want to sponsor me feel free to i would be very happy with that this is a char grilled ch ch i can't talk char grilled chicken with chipotle mayo 500 calories 32 grams of protein that's what i'm loving about these high protein that's what i'm into i would never get enough protein if i just ate like intuitively my body doesn't like you i don't know can i put this face mask on she looks like maybe she's chilling so that's good i'm gonna eat and then i'll jump in the shower and have a really good deep shower. Yeah, this is the remover list from GoTo. Maybe I'll just sit here and do it. Marley's just here. So that then when I shower, I can see her still. So I figured if I got her in a good position, be able to feed her again before I shower, even though we literally just fed. But she hasn't fed for a few hours, so then she kind of like, sometimes she won't feed for a while and then she'll cluster. So that's fine. I would rather her cluster feed before I put a layer of fake tan on. But yeah, I just have to then like wash the tan off or just really make sure she won't be able to get it on her. Obviously I won't do my boobs and stuff, but my dress tomorrow is like this. So I have to make sure that a certain amount of me is tanned. How does that look? Not bad. These kind of masks kind of freak me out and you have to ignore I'm obviously looking at myself in the viewfinder that's like next to you. Yeah, that's where we're at. Hayden is setting up the wedding with his brother and all the bridal party. So I'm on parent mode alone, which is fine. But once half awakes from her nap, we're going to my parents' house because my brother and his kids will be there and also some family friends of ours are gonna be there as well. I haven't tried this char grilled chicken yet from You Foods. Let's have a look. Oh, it smells good. Because I get it straight out of the freezer, I always do it for longer than what the packet says. So the packet, I think it said two and a half minutes and I put it in for four minutes just because it was going from frozen. That's what it looks like. Pretty good. And I'm going to add in the Chipotle mayo. Well, one thing I have been, like, I have been absolutely loving having this. For postpartum especially, like, I've been very, very lucky with some amazing friends bringing us food which has been honestly life changing. So shout out to all my epic friends who bring me dinner. I do need some more snacks in the house, I think, but that's my problem. Oh, that chocolate mayo tastes good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a win. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, okay. I better pick the baby back up. Probably give her another feed. Once I've done that, I'll be able to jump in the shower, wash my face, wash my body, get prepped. And then I also, whilst half a, like whilst half a naps, maybe when I'm tanning, I need to edit my birth story and also last week's vlog. So that's this this week's vlog. So that's fun. Lots to do, to be honest. A busy, busy few days. But it'll be really good to just like go to mum's and half will be entertained. All right, I'm coming. So I'm tanned which is awesome. But I really wanted to show you guys the process, but holy moly, that was, oh, just pure chaos. Like, holy moly, that was a lot. Unfortunately, my sweet, easygoing two-week-old decided this was the time that she didn't want to be happy. She generally has been pretty chill and like really easygoing. I think she's tired, but she um, just won't go to sleep. So, so this is what's been happening, unless I'm holding her, which whilst you're trying to tan, you can't do. So the poor little monkey, hey, you're okay, you're okay. So I'm trying to like have her on me, but like where the tan can't get her. And I obviously have like left my boobs so I can still feed her, which might be what she wants now, even though she's fed 800 times today, but that's fine. Thank you. And I was gonna try and like tan and then wash it off after an hour, but we're gonna go out very soon, I think. I'm probably gonna wake Harper up from her nap and we'll go to mum's. Like I'll wake her in like five minutes and we'll go to mum's because I'm kind of bored now that I'm tanned. I don't wanna just sit around the house. And I think I'll edit my birth video, like my birth story. Look, she's happy now that she's on me. Oh, I think I will, yeah, film my birth story video, not film. Gosh, I can't even talk, sorry. I will edit my birth story video tonight. 
when the girls are both, like when Harper's in bed and before Miley's last feed of the night, I think. Caden will come back. So he's helping set up at the moment. I keep getting confused with how much I've told you guys. So apologies if I'm repeating myself. But he will come back. He'll help me do nighttime routine, wash the girls' hair, get them both bathed and like organized. Then he'll go back and he'll spend time at his brother's. Luckily, his brother lives just down the road, so then he'll probably come back here and sleep because there's no point in sleeping on the floor in Mitchell's house when he can sleep in his bed down the road. So, yeah, once the girls are bathed and in bed, I will edit that, I reckon. Because the house should be all good. It's, like, pretty tidy. So, I should be manageable by then to just... Whoa! To just edit but I want to wash my tan off and wash my hair tonight as well because I don't want it to, I don't want to wear my tan to bed and I also don't want to just have it on for too long so I don't want it to get too dark but I think I'll wash my tan off and then I'll do another layer on my legs because my legs it never really sticks very well like it always comes off my legs so I think I'll wash it off and then do another layer instead of just doing two layers now that never seems to quite work so yeah that's where I'm at hi Ziggy I feel bad I didn't get him out for a W this morning like I wanted to but he has been out every day this week so can't feel too bad can we Zig and now she's like practically asleep she just wanted to be close to me which is good because at least she didn't want to feed because although I have not done my boobs. I don't really want her to feed like while it's still so fresh because I fed her seconds before I put my tan on. But this girl is hungry and it's been very hot this week. So chaos, but lots of happiness at the same time. So maybe tomorrow will just be a really, really big, not tomorrow, Monday, will just be a big editing day and I'll edit everything I own because I just do not have the energy. I'm so tired. It's currently 10 to 8. Both the girls are in bed, which is incredible. I'm doing my protein oats, so I'll show you guys what I do. So pooped. I had such a good day. I can't even remember what I, what I told you guys, but I went to my friends this morning for Harper to play with her little girl there for like an hour and a half, and then I came home, Harper nap. I did, oh yeah, it was chaos trying to get tanned. Marley cried a lot of the time, but I am now beautifully bronzed with white boobies. Um, but my tan looks good. I think I'm going to do another layer on my legs. Maybe, but they actually look better than I expected. So, maybe not. I went to my parents' house, which was amazing. We have, it was like some mum and dad's family friends and then their adult children with their children children. So, it was really fun. And then, like, my friend Niall came, who's, like, mum's best friend's kid. And mum's best friend was there. And, like, my both my brothers were there and my two nephews. Like, it was just a beautiful day. In the end, it was chaos. Like, there was so many people suddenly at mum and dad's house, which wasn't expected necessarily. Like, they were just having their friends over. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to gate crash. And then messaged my brothers. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to mum and dad's today. And they were like, yeah, we'll come too. So everyone came. And it was awesome. Papa was really happy and, like, entertained. So it was good. Like, I was able to chill. And everyone just wanted to cuddle Marley. So she just went and, like, got passed around to everyone. So that was cool. But yeah, I'm finally going to show you my very basic, like, my overnight oats are not very exciting. So don't get your hopes up. And also I don't even have one of the ingredients that I usually use for my overnight oats. But whatever. So I have a glass jar here. Maybe I should put you the... I don't know where I want you. I guess this makes more sense because you can see everything. I don't really need to like weigh everything at the moment. But I just know that that makes what it makes. You know? But literally all I do. I have rolled oats. These are just the ones from all these. I do between 30 and 40 grams, usually 30, but at the moment I'm doing 40 because I am breastfeeding. If you are someone who is calorie counting or tracking or whatever, just add the amount that's gonna work for your amount of calories per day. Um, this was what worked for me before going to work and stuff. And before going to the gym, it was a good size, I think. I don't know, like two or 300 calories with a decent amount of protein. I'm not currently tracking anything, I just, know the ratios that taste good for this basically so then 30 grams of protein i use personally i like the naked harvest chocolate i like a chocolatey breakfast is a good breakfast to me if i'm not having eggs then i want something sweet basically so yeah i use the naked harvest chocolate george's discount code love gr will get you 15 percent off i would love if naked harvest wanted to give me a discount code <laughs> And then I then use just the almond spread from Macro, which is just almonds. Really, really good source of 
fat. So this is going to help me stay fuller for longer. So I usually do about 10 to 15 grams of this. Honestly, it depends what comes off because it's kind of awkward. Yeah, so it's like 13 grams. But yeah, anywhere between like 10 and 15 is a good amount like calorie wise. Again, not that I'm tracking calories, so it really doesn't matter for me right now. And then I add milk. I usually would also add protein yogurt, like plain protein yogurt. I would add heaps of that. Makes it really thick and like creamy. But I don't have any at the moment, so. Um, usually I'd add 150 mils of this. Well, between 100 and 150, kind of depends. I'm pretty lax with this, even when I am tracking, because it doesn't equate to very many calories anyway. And that is literally all I do. And then I mix it all together, and then I put it in the fridge. So, very basic. Again, as I, oh, and sometimes I add honey in it too. What it is, I mix it so that it's not powdery at all. Like I mix in all of the protein powder. Then I just let it sit overnight and then the next morning it's delicious. Very quick and easy. And yeah, when I was like tracking and really paying attention to like my calories and my macros and stuff, I found this a really, really good way to start my day because like oats are a really good carb to have, like slow burning. So they were really good to then get me through like a gym session and then get half of sleep and then I can have my lunch after. I also really like sweet things and a good hit of protein first thing in the morning because I I think I said it earlier, I really, really struggle to get enough protein in my day just by like eating like intuitively. I don't love heaps of meats, so I would never really get my goal necessarily. So when I was then tracking my to get my protein goal, I really have to add protein to things, which is why I always use protein pasta and protein yogurt and stuff. We just bought actually some protein water. This is for myself and for Hayden because we're both um, trying to increase our protein. This is the Body Science Collagen Protein Water in Strawberry Lime and it's so tasty. It just tastes like lollies. So loving that, it tastes like a strawberry chubba chub. So we're really liking that. I think I'm gonna get some from My Protein and use Rachel's discount code, Rachel Catherine, my friend. Cause yeah, she has a discount code for my protein. So I think I'm gonna wait till they have like a one where her code gets like 50% off and then get it. But I think I want to get the watermelon ones. It's ridiculous. It's 88 calories, but it's 20 grams of protein. So again, just a really, really good way of getting, adding protein to your diet. And depending on what your fitness health goals are, getting plenty of protein is just very important. It's been like 20 minutes since I last filmed. Wow, this lighting is making my tan look whack. So you can have a kiss. Good boy. You are a good boy. Like I haven't shown Ziggy much the last couple of vlogs. We've been a bit busy, hey? I am now going to go and read. Do I have time to edit? Yes, I definitely do have the time. But do I have the energy or like creative motivation? No, absolutely not. So me and what looks like a very orange face due to where I'm currently sitting in the house. I'm gonna go and sit and read. I'm currently reading a couple of different books. I'm reading The Bully by Devney Perry, which is the fourth book in the Calamity Montana series, which I'm loving. Small town romances, they're all like interconnected, but all different couples, which I love. Small town love. And they all have different, yeah, little love stories. They're nice, they're like super short, like 300 pages generally. So they're nice and quick to get through, very just like easy reads. Nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy, which is like really nice when breastfeeding. And then I'm also listening and reading to Atomic Habits, which I'm loving as well. So I think at the end of this month, which is this week coming actually, I might do like a January, February book wrap up because I've read a few books this in the last couple of months. And yeah, have a lot to discuss on some of those books. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Really enjoying reading at the moment, especially just having comfort reads are the best. So lots to discuss very soon. Okay, the chaos is beginning. Beep beep. I have one. Whoa! Sorry, Baba. I have a toddler at my feet. I have a baby in my arms. I have a makeup artist, one of my friends, coming to do makeup for myself and Hayden's nana in. What is the time? What is the time? Oh, any second now. Oh, good burp, Angel. Yeah, just had to get very chaotic, but it's going to be a wonderful day. We are getting a new family member. I'm just so excited to go to this wedding. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm wearing. I have the most beautiful dress. Maybe I can show you now before everyone gets here. That obviously won't be able to film really once everyone's here. Let me just put the baby down. And I feel like, 
Jesus, I look like a hot mess. I feel like you can really see the color of my hair now. But yes, so it's going to be a chaotic day, but it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm very, very excited. I love weddings. I love love. I love Mitch and Jazz, which is Hayden's brother and fiance, obviously. Who's going to be Mrs. Burgo after today? What the actual heck? Oh my gosh.